by the goddess, Nevi. I... I'd almost lost all hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. This here's a new friend. He rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without him, we'd never have made it out. Let me introduce you to my wife, Arabeth Tirabade, head of the Eagle Watch. Mm. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canabras. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And thank you for getting Anevia out of there. The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders. But it's now been taken over by cultists. When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Canabras will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with them, the rest of the world. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest. But there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. Most people in Canabras think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious, but the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. Come on, living legend? A walking folktale, maybe? I just need to make sure I don't turn into a running joke. The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the dragon Terendalev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Don't talk like that. Canabras hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Ioma Day abandons us, we will fight for Canopus. The Wardstones are a gift of Ioma Day. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. The Wardstones keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. The demons have long laid siege to Canabras, but this time, their Lord Descari appeared in the flesh. He ripped the Wardstone from the ground and hurled it halfway across the city to here. I thought the stone was destroyed, but it seems all is not lost, yet. Daskari has gone, but the Wardstone is surrounded by a horde of those creatures. What are they going to do to it? Nothing good, that's for certain. But how did he do that? He's a demon! The Wardstone should have burned his filthy hide! It should have. But what happened, happened. We don't know why. That's the spirit! You, take Anavia to the rear! The rest of you, with me! Lord Horgus Worm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. To the extent that anywhere in Canopolis can be said to be safe right now. Uh, 
That's right. Fighting spirit is the one thing that we've got plenty of. <sighs> Actual fighting power, that's not so great. Fighting know-how, even worse. But fighting spirit, <laughs> at least we're rich in that. <sighs> for I owe the day! For the queen! Kill the beast! Not an option. Godspeed.
Revive me. You are today's sacrifice! Every strike count. You've crossed the wrong mongrel.
What's this? Do we have guests? <laughs> Just in time. The place is a bit of a mess, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. Why don't you... Oh! <gasps> what an unexpected surprise! Staunton, my little sweetheart. Long time no see. I've missed you so much. Have you missed me? Admit it. You missed me terribly. Uh, where are you? You again, you wench! Minago, the one who... <sighs> Be careful. She's one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. Does he know me? Staunton, darling. Tell them all how close we were. That wench? She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason! Why, Teresa fell. Oh my, like butter wouldn't melt. What I remember is how eagerly you would run to our trysts, how you begged to see me again, how you promised you'd do anything I asked. By your own free will, you said this. And now you claim that Dresden fell because of me. No, no, my dear. That was entirely your own doing. I'll beat your lying lips into your filthy throat! Now, Staunton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kissed so sweetly. Staunton, dearest, don't you love me anymore? Remember how good we were together? I was so hoping that we could patch things up. I'll kill you!
Survive me. about me strike as one Every strike count. Spirits demand your blood. The world in crimson. You've crossed the wrong mongrel.
Congratulations. You made it all the way here. This is it. Your precious ward stone. Well, what are you planning to do now, hmm? I could kill you where you stand. But wouldn't it be nice if you could die in battle like heroes? No. I want you to die in despair. Scrabbling around like rats in the blighted ruins of your city. Blind and broken. Your flesh scabbed and seeping. And every moment knowing precisely what was done to you. Sounds terrifying. Except that's how we've been living for generations. There isn't a soul that can resist the temptations of the Abyss. Even a stone can be turned. Joking, your precious war stone, weakened from the injury inflicted by Discari, has almost succumbed to my charms. Soon the whole barrier around the world wound, the gift of your useless goddess, will be a weapon of the abyss. Just a little more, and boom. <laughs> From Canabras to Nerosian will turn into smoking craters and all the mortals into red sludge beneath our hooves. So you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. Kiss me on my dainty hoof. Pledge your loyalty to Baphomet. And when the world falls, its ruin shall be yours. Well, quite, what am I doing to it? Probably the same thing I did to many of your comrades. Sweetly and tenderly persuading it to abandon the mortals and join our side. Prepare to fight to the death, demon! We won't let that happen. Short memories, even shorter than your little lives. Stunt. And it was such a charming little place until you sullied it with your presence. It had such lovely boulevards, quiet and shaded. You took those away from me, and I shan't forgive you for that. They've done much worse things than spoil the promenades. All the people they've killed. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I grieve for the common folk as well. turned its back on us, and no one would come to our aid? I'm done with this shit! I only followed this hoofed menace because I thought the Crusaders had had it, and there was no other way to protect my family. But now I see that there is hope. I won't bow before these heinous idols ever again. If they kill me, at least I'll die a decent death. Yes! Return to our side, friends! Have courage! We will welcome you back! And heaven never abandoned you, no matter what this deceiver told you. Turncoat, I'll cut out your heart. We'll see how tough you really are. We let you frighten us once, but it won't happen again. Stand with me! I'm tired. 
tired of playing around now. You want to know what will happen when I'm done with the Wardstone? Here's a little demonstration. Keep telling yourself that. <laughs> <laughs> 